Hello, Chris Word and First Business Rescue. Today's video is titled, Don't Be Forced Into a CVA. So, first of all, what is a CVA? Its longer name is a Company Voluntary Arrangement. And it's used by insolvent companies who are struggling to pay the debts, but fundamentally their business model is sound. They've got a fairly good chance of profitability in the future. And most importantly, they normally have something that needs to be protected. Could be property, it could be a license, it could be a registration. But, and I'm hearing this a lot recently, there are business owners who are never been in an insolvency scenario before. They're not familiar with the options that they that they get and they're only taking one bit of advice which you know something so important you, you need to get a couple of views um and they're being sort of sold into a cva now a cva is really good for an insolvency practitioner because they get paid something called a nominee's fee up front but they also get a supervisor's fee so every year you're in the cva um, the insolvency practitioner gets paid. Guess what? Lots of them fail. So they learn a lot of money during the CVA. And then when it fails, which a lot of them inevitably do, um, they get make money from the liquidation. So here are several reasons why a CVA might not be right for your business. Okay. Number one, there'll be serious reputational damage to that business so cva is publicly available information your business will not be able to get as much as a packet of fags on tick if you're in a cva okay number two cost incurred cvas can be expensive you know there's the insolvency practitioners fees to factor in there's legal costs to factor in you know, and if you're, de it's all relative to what your debt levels are, but make sure you're aware of all costs on the CVA before you make any decisions. But most importantly is that there's no guarantee of success with the CVA. You, you know, I actually don't know um, the exact figures, but if your company doesn't adhere to the CVA, you don't make your payments on time, your business is going to end up in liquidation anyway. So a CVA might be right for you. Let, let's say you're a haulier. Okay, you have something called an O license and you need to protect the O license. Or you're a nursing agency and you, you have a CQC registration. You know, you've got some type of license to protect. Well, CVA is a good idea in that circumstance because it allows the company to continue to trade and you protect the license. Now, if you're considering a CVA, get in touch. We'll review all your options, including liquidation. Um, and we'll give you our view on, on what we think the, the, the best option is for you. And if you don't get in touch with us, no problem. But get in touch with somebody else. You know, don't go with the first proposal that's sent to you. And if it's a CVA, think about it carefully. Think about the cons and think about the pros. I hope you found the video useful. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy it. Give us some questions. Give us some ideas on what videos you might want to see. Thanks for your time. Bye-bye.